going to have to bring in A game plus. We might need to bring in Manny Tapia with him. He's standing behind him and his good friend as well. And this is going to be a knockdown, drag out war. Absolutely no quit game whatsoever. His opponent now entering King of the Cage Steel. Fighting out of the Booyah Fightwear Corner. At five feet, seven inches tall, he weighed in at 144.6 pounds. Representing Fifth Street Gym and MMA Masters. Sponsored by Clinch Gear and Fight Funds. He is the former King of the Cage Bantamweight champion of the world from Miami Beach, Florida. This is the pit bull, Lazar Stoja Dinovich. What can you say about Lazar? Super quick, super comfortable, a lot of experience. Hard to take down, good on the ground, well-rounded. This guy could be in there with anybody in the world. Former King of the Cage champion, this guy is tough. To start them off, we got three five minute rounds. Lazar coming out in a southpaw stance, Dave Revis in a traditional stance. And here we go. Both guys circling, there's no glove touching here. Big difference with these level of fighters. You see both guys well balanced. Good head movement, not too anxious. Just measuring each other up. Dave Reed with the one, two. Lazar backs away, shakes it off. Lazar with the inside leg kick with the left, right hook. Guys, super patient, just circling, measuring each other up. Lazar with that inside kick with the six punch combination. Dave Rivas, right knee under, up the middle, backing out as Lazar. Wants to keep his distance, wants to keep this range in and out. This is how he fights, he's in and out, but one of those punches hits you, it's lights out. Going to the wall with that rear inside leg kick. See if Dave can't step through with the straight right on this next one. Dave Reeves with the lead left hook with the straight right, which misses. Lazar dancing around. He has beautiful head movement, great balance, more of a pure boxing style. Oh, 
Lazar says start this action. But he doesn't seem to be pressing either, trying to bait Dave in to do a little counter punching, but Dave's not having any of it. He's gonna stick to his game plan, be real patient. Into the clinch, Lazar lets him out of it to see if Dave can't get a real shot off here at some point. Lazar with some quick hands, hasn't made any contact yet. Not one guy's really been hit by a punch, but they've been close. And there's a good right hand, right hook by Lazar. Cracking Dave on the side of the head, but Dave keeps marching forward. guy wants to be first. Lazar comes forward with a nice combination. Pushing Dave up against the fence into the clinch and there's a good right hook, straight left coming off of the fences, Lazar. Well, I'll tell you what, Lazar is crisp, he's clean and he's super fast. Dave's gonna have to muster up some offense because if Lazar gets off first, there's no way he's gonna be able to handle that hand speed. Lazar content to stay on the outside, and there's a good three-punch combination with a, a right uppercut. And there's Dave Rivas closing the distance, but Lazar backs him off, pushing Dave up against the fence, and a good inside knee, creating distances, Lazar. Lazar seems to be finding his range, moving in and out at will. Dave has no answer for the speed. Are doing a great job of just backing out that inside leg kick with a six punch combination of which none of them really made any contact but it looked good. If Lazar seems to set his feet he might be able to finish this in one punch. Although Dave's a tough guy to put away Lazar's hand speed just is giving him problems at this point right now. There's a leap forward with that inside leg kick. That would have been a great time for Dave to get a shot off, but chooses not to. There's Dave throwing some bobs, hitting nothing but air. Lazar comes through. Both guys getting physical on the inside. Lazar seems to be a lot more active, working those inside knees. Nobody really dominated that round. Lazar seemed to set the pace. Significant difference in hand speed. Significant difference in hand speed. And really, the only answer for that is to come in with pressure and be physical. What they tried to do at the end, I don't know if it was enough to win that round. I'd have to say Lazar is really in command majority of that round. Just moving around at will, picking him apart, not landing a whole lot of solid punches, but dictating pace, which is a big part of MMA. He likes to start off with that lead low kick, and then come through with a left hook, straight right left hook combination. With his head beneath his ass Cause he took a hit of grass And he swears he'll never smoke again Dangerous wake up Charlie it's Valencia is telling Dave He needs to press forward He needs to be first He needs to dictate pace And more than anything else He needs to be physical Cause that's Dave's deal Dave Brevis is a physical guy He needs to press his, his will And there's a deep shot by Dave. Lazar just backs him right off. Goes low, changes elevation, says, get off me. Dave just kind of falling around. Lazar, you have a feeling that he's trying to just set him up. Lazar with some beautiful foot movement. 
It's a great sprawl. See if Dave can spin out of this or work a shot. Dave back to his feet, back up into Lazar's world. Lazar's moving around, chin tuck, being protected by that right shoulder. Nice head movement, changing elevation. And again, there's that lead leg, closing the distance. That left interior low kick seems to set up as straight left. Dave Rivas just chasing around instead of cutting off the ring. And there's a good right uppercut by Lazar. And there's Dave being physical on the inside and catches him with a right hook. Dave pressing the action now. And Lazar going in for a shot. Seeing if he can't put Dave Rivas on his back. Dave's having none of it. Pressure in Lazar against the fence. Small mouth under Lazar's eye. Both eyes seem to have a little, uh, little mouse underneath it. Might have a little cut underneath his left eye. And this is Dave's world. He's physical. He's a lot stronger than he looks. He's pressing. And there's a good trip takedown by Lazar, but back to his feet is Dave. Lazar trying to work that guillotine choke. He's gonna work some knees. And immediately going down to a, a three-point stand is, uh, is Dave Rivas. That's a smart, experienced fighter right there. No knees to the head at this point. Oh, and there's a, a deep guillotine. Lazar can move out in front of him. He might be able to cinch us up nice and tight. And there it is, Dave coming back to his feet, being physical and some blood coming out of the left eye of Lazar now. Dave can sense a little bit of offense and a good solid right. Dave being physical. And there's a little trip takedown by Lazar trying to pass a guard, but that's not an easy process for many of these Millennium Jiu Jitsu guys. Dave Regis is dropping elbows on Lazar. And that's a nice pass by Lazar. And Lazar being physical, but back to his knees, trying to get up out of there is Dave Rivas. He's a tough guy to keep on the mat. Lazar trying to take the back now of Rivas. Dave Rivas doing a good job of not letting that happen. And there's a, a deep guillotine choke by Lazar trying to pull guard and seems to manage it and that's deep. Dave Rivas might be caught. See if he pops his head out and he does. Boy, that's a, a, that was a deep, deep guillotine choke. But now that you're sweaty, it's really hard. But now Dave Rivas has him up against the fence, super physical putting his, his head into the jaw and into the eye of Lazar. Dave Rivas, this is his home right here. It's a tough spot to get up from. Dave just constant pressure. Doesn't look like he's doing a lot of damage, but he's heavy, heavy guy with a short elbow on the inside and another short elbow. Those are scoring points and another short elbow, but constantly keeping pressure. And a good body shot. Good pressure on the head, short elbows by Dave Rivas. And Dave Rivas doing a good job. Lazar's complaining about a headbutt, but that was a really good job by Dave Rivas on the ground. That's a fact exactly where Dave Rivas needs to be. He needs to be on top, applying pressure, short elbows, long elbows, elbowing the body. That was a great way to end up that round. King of the cage, it's 
Excessive Damage, brought to you by Booyah Fightwear in San Manuel Indian Casino. Bully Beatdown and Mark Christopher Chevrolet. The Czar coming forward with a barrage of punches. Working that interior knee that just misses. And Dave Rebus getting some punches off himself. Yes, baiting Lazar into a war and an all-out street scrap. You're not going to get away from Dave Rebus that easy coming into the third and final round. Lazar seems to be fresh. Dave Rebus seems to be fresh. They touch gloves, and here goes the third and final round. This could be one and one right now at this point. This is going to be the determining factor. See if Dave can find a way to pressure Lazar enough to find that range and get this thing back to the mat. He dominated on the ground, and there's a good knee by Dave. Lazar trying to push Dave up against the fence. And there's a knee that misses by Lazar. See if Dave can get a real shot off here and get this thing back to the mat. He dominated on the ground. But Lazar seems to be winning this stand-up. Dave not wanting to press the action, but he's going to have to close the distance. Start working on that body clinch, work on that takedown. At this range right now, Lazar is going to pick him apart. And again, Lazar, inside leg kick, straight right, left hook. Inside leg kick, straight right, left hook. Dave doesn't have an answer for that. Dave Rebus with the inside leg kick of his own, doesn't follow up with anything. It's been a good time to get a shot off. And there's a good straight right up the pipe. Dave Rivas, we've been calling for that all night to step through that leg kick with a straight right, and he answers the bell. Pushing Lazar back with that straight right. Lazar backing off. Guarantee that combination isn't coming back anytime soon. He's gonna remember that now goes outside leg kick. See if Dave can't be first. His corner is begging for him to be first and close the distance. Lazar with a good one, too. Over the top is Dave, but just barely misses. Neither guy really want to be too aggressive here. And there's a good combination by Dave Rivas counterpunching, but Lazar comes back with a straight right, closes the distance. Seems to be complaining about a low knee, but the referee's not going to step in and do anything about it. Ref telling him to work. Dave Rivas backing out. Ref calling time. It's a little bit of experience coming through there with Lazar, spitting his mouthpiece out, trying to buy a minute. Maybe he ate a low blow, maybe it was slightly low. Has to buy himself a little bit of time. Coming back out, says he's ready to go as Lazar. Pushing forward is Dave Rivas. See if he can't get a little more aggressive here in the final half of this round. There's a one, two. Nothing really lands, but a nice right knee by Lazar on the inside. Dave needs to cut this ring off a little bit. Tries that overhand right on that leg kick, but comes up with nothing. That's called a straight whiff. This is Sean Canova coming to you from King of the Cage. Excessive damage from San Manuel Indian Casino with a lot of action here. Two high caliber 145 pounders coming in and a nice left hook right uppercut by, by Lazar. And eats a left hook by Dave but walks right through it. 
Both guys exchanging one punch at a time. Let's see if anybody can't land anything solid here. Dave's chasing him down. Coming forward now, through both guys throwing bombs. Lazar says, come on, let's bang. And Dave says, I'm more than welcome to, and comes forward himself. And Lazar backs out and starts to circle again. Maybe he had second thoughts from that straight right. Let's see if Dave can't come muster up another one of those takedowns. One more takedown might sew this fight up and a straight right by Lazar. Both guys are content to exchange one, two punches at a time and there goes that takedown. Dave with a deep, deep shot. See if he can't finish this. This is an important takedown for him. This will change the scorecards right here if he can finish his takedown. Lazar doing a great job pushing his head down. Beautiful balance. See if Dave can't switch that up to a single or finish his double takedown, 10 seconds. Lazar doing a good job and working great balance and that's it. Boy, that was a great job by both guys. So the average brewer may have looked at that and go, you know, this may not be a, too much of an exciting fight, but these are two top of the food chain fighters coming in with throwing nice, crisp, clean shots, not taking too much risk. Both guys are super tough. damage from San Mel Indy Casino. What a beautiful venue this is. Got a great casino. Lots of stuff here. It's a great venue. It's a great auditorium. King of the Cage bringing us a bunch of really, really good fights. Some of the most talented fighters from around the country coming in to fight tonight. Also brought to you by Bully Beatdown, Booyah Fightwear, Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Someone to make some noise for these two warriors. After three sensational rounds inside the King of the Cage Steel, your judges scored as following. Judge David Mendoza scores about 29, 28, 